usable in Uber. All right, so we've got Greninja, we've got Charizard, we've got Aegislash, we've got Blissey, and we've got Talonflame. So we've got five out of six are massively over overused. Massively OU. So at that point, uh, with Blissey, probably not going to be a lead out. We've got Slurpuff. Slurpuff is a threat if you let it get Belly Drum up. But I feel like either Aegislash or Talonflame or that Charizard are probably going to lead out. So we're going to go ahead and go into Meowstic. Uh, not Summary, that's not what I want. But I feel like this is probably Charizard Y, because Charizard Y is the reason that Charizard is OU right now. Everybody wants that flame, like their flamethrowers and their flare blitzes and everything else, just super overpowered. So, they're going with Charizard Y, even though it doesn't always fit their team. At this point, you've got two physical attack, three physical attackers between that Slurpuff, that Talonflame, and the Aegislash. And then, with your Greninja, yeah, I guess Charizard Y would fit in a little bit better. Although, it does kind of affect Greninja a little bit. Blissey's going to be a good support, so we're going to see how it goes. So, hello everybody, this is... DKG's Avos going up against a random passerby that just challenged me to battle. Yay! So, Dylan, if you're in the chat and you're just some random that added me as a, a friend, you got lucky. But I want to know who you are. I want to know who you are. Alright, so now Blissey usually has, like, Seismic Toss and flamethrower and is a toxic stall so it's pretty slow and pretty darn bulky so we're gonna go straight away into swagger because there's nothing that blissey usually runs that's gonna be affecting us if we give it plus two attack only thing it's gonna have to worry about is punching itself in the face with 40 base damage there we go nicely done now it is a really good special defensive wall we're gonna go ahead and paralyze it at this point it should have heal bell and soft boiled. But after this, we should be able to switch into a zoom reel and clear it out with some brick break. Should be okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Meowstick going for T Wave. We're going to reduce the ability to attack on this thing significantly. Confuse damage. Minimize. Oh, what are you... Are you serious right now? Did you just really use Blissey with Minimize? This guy just used Minimize. Alright, we were going to give you a Pokemon if you beat us, but... Unfortunately, you just lost that privilege. You don't get to use Minimize. We're still going to try and take you out. We're going to go for that Brick Break. Snapped out of Confusion. He's going for Minimize again. You don't have anything that you're doing to us. We've seen three moves. He's probably got... Oh, God. Dude, the first time this Brick Break hits, you are screwed, son. Get out of here. Don't use that on me. I don't care how many minimizes you've got. If you're not doing any damage to me, I don't care. Like, you can minimize all you want, but eventually I'm going to hit you. Eventually I'm going to hit you with a super effective brick break. Eventually you're going to realize that you only have 10 base defense. I don't care if you've got 255 base whatever. But, it, okay. I'm not... I'm not going to focus on that because the jerky is minimized and that's an illegal team. Suck it, passerby Dylan. We're going to go for Brick Break on Greninja because he doesn't have a whole lot that we're worried about. We've got Assault Vest on the Zoomerill, and so his Grass Knot's really not going to do that much. Yay. <laughs> Sorry. We're, we're just going to keep going for it. So, he's going to go for the Grass Knot one more time. And we're going to go for the play rough, thinking that he might have gotten wise and switched out into something else. But play rough it is. Bye, Greninja. And Azumarill just took out a Greninja. 
Just saying, guys. Azumarill took out a Greninja. Alright, Aegislash, yes! What is my favorite thing to do with Aegislash, guys? Mmm. Absolutely, 100%. Let's go into Meowstic. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah! Now, if he goes for the Shadow Sneak... Oh, yes. Thank you. Please give me more Sword Stance. Oh yeah. We're gonna go for the Swagger straight away. Oh, yes, Aegislash. Go for the King Shield next. Be predictable. Please be predictable. I love you, Dylan. Right now, you are making my day. Go for it. Go for the Shadow Sneak. Come on. Shadow Sneak time. Is it? Is it? Yes! Ah, oh. Not quite. Fine. I'll paralyze him too. Damn. You know what? I paralyzed him. I... Confuse has like a... Plus four... Confused Damage has like a 30% chance of dealing with Aegislash under some conditions. It's like 6% if it's max HP. So that's a thing. I'm disappointed now. It's all good. He's paralyzed. We're good to go. We're going to go for the Aqua Jet. Aegislash is in attack mode, so Aegislash is dead. Yes, we sacrificed a Meowstic for it, but man. Man. Now, really, we would have loved to have that thing alive, that Meowstic alive to deal with this Talonflame a little bit better, but we're gonna be okay. Uh, we're probably gonna lose Azumarill for it. Um, I'm not sure if there's a better way of dealing with it, so I think we're just gonna have to sack Azumarill here. Go for the Aqua Jet. See if he goes for some sort of, like, bulk up for some weird reason. And deal a decent amount of damage with Talonflame. With Azumarill out and about, we are forcing the Brave Bird issue. We're not going to be able to tell if this is banded or not. But we're going to be able to find out, hopefully, in the near future. Um, we're not going to send out Scissor to really test it. Because if he's not banded, if he's got... There's the Life Orb. If he had the Life Orb... We would be able to tell if he didn't have it. Uh, we would pretty much assume that it was Choice Banded, so we wouldn't have to worry about it. Special Attack did rise. We should be able to survive one shot from Brave Bird on any Talonflame ever with Porygon. And T-Bolt's going to come out, and I think he's just probably going to go straight away into that Brave Bird again, based on what he's done with the rest of his Pokemon. But as long as we keep Porygon 2 alive, we're going to be fine. This Talonflame can't Oko Porygon 2. I don't even think with a critical. Might be able to do it with a crit on a on a choice band, but I don't expect to see it on Porygon 2 at this point. I think it's like 45 damage, 45% or less. So really, I'm not worried about Talonflame with Porygon 2 out with T-Bolt. Mmm. Mmm. Eat it, Talonflame. Eat it. Alright, what's next? What is next for the Porygon 2 sweep? Charizard! Charizard gonna come in here. It's shiny, just like the Greninja was. But the problem with Charizard is that currently he's a, a fire flying... Oh, it's X! It's Charizard X! I'm actually impressed! I didn't expect that. Oh, you've impressed me, sir. Looks like Dragon Dance is going to come out here. So he's got a Charizard X with actual good moves. That's even better. There are so many people out there that are running Charizard Y. I assumed that was Charizard Y. Oh, that's good. I'm happy about that. Happily surprised. Alright, let's go for the Tri-Attack, see if we can get some status in here. We're not going to be able to get too much going with the... Um... There we go. We're not going to be able to get anything done with the Freeze, just because it's a Fire-type Pokemon. But we got the Tri-Attack. The Sweep is real! Mm. 
and Slurpuff. All right, now at this point, I can sacrifice Porygon 2, or I can switch into something else that's going to be able to do something. I think we're going to see Belly Jet, or not Belly Jet, Belly Drum. I'm so used to Zoomerill. We're going to go for the Tri-Attack, uh, but it's going to be play rough. So we were going to try and go for the Tri-Attack, see if we get some status in, if he was going to go for the Belly Drum. Belly Drum is one of the most powerful things about Slurpuff. But we're going to go ahead and go into Scissor. Scissor's going to be able to resist that play rough really well. Uh, we're going to be able to... We're going to check it out. We're going to see what's happening. Go into the Mega. Go for the Bullet Punch. See what's happening with Slurpuff. I don't know if he's going to go for the Cotton Guard and then the play rough and then... Or the Cotton Guard and then the Belly Drum and then the play rough. All these things are options. Cotton Guard really, really helpful on Slurpuff. But I don't think he's going to have a chance to... Unless that was, like, weakness policy, even Cotton Guard's not going to save you at this point, Slurpuff. I'm sorry. And you did have a chance of winning a Pokemon from me. I would have traded you one had you not gone for that Minimize Blissey. Or if you had won. I'm really ragey about that Minimize Blissey. Really ragey. Don't bring that in my house. GG.